Hello everyone, how are you? Hi Danny. Hi, how are you? Good. Oh, glad to hear that. Okay, everyone, welcome to our International Prop Chat Episode 3. Okay, my name is Danny. I'm a member of IQI International Sales. Okay, and today we have uh, our head of international sales here with us. Okay, so Mandy? Hi everyone, yes. good evening. Uh, my name is Mandy. I guess uh, quite a number of you guys have known me and have seen my face as well. Uh, I have done the, uh, the key of the diversification program, uh, episode one to 14. So um, this one is actually our new episode, which is uh, international uh, prop chat. Yeah, so, International Prop Chat is a series that we came out with uh, recently because we get a lot of feedbacks during our The Key to Diversification where Mandy actually interviewed a lot of country experts about the migration, about the property market, what are the future economy growth, and what is the potential that we have in diversifying our portfolio. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot, a lot of feedbacks from the investors and also from public. So this international prop chat is a series where we will introduce the project that we choose to help you in uh, diversifying your portfolio. Mm -hmm. So Mandy, as I know that uh, you invest in real estate for some time already, yourself yep. is a, in expert in investing. Now, I do heard that Bangkok is one of your favorite location. Mm -mm. Am I right? Yep. <laughs> How long ago since you invested in Bangkok? Uh, I think it's about five years ago, I started to look into uh, <laughs> Thailand properties. And um, at that time, I was... Um, I was not into uh, Thailand property yet, so I, I was I have no clue mm -hmm. about um, Thailand investments. Okay, so but a lot of uh, my friends and my investor told me that uh, Thailand, in fact, is a good market to enter it. So therefore, there's um, we actually uh, me and my friends, a group of us, that actually make a trip down to uh, Thailand to look at the Thailand property because we are so curious because we wanted to know is like uh, why is so attractive like invest what is the potential of invest in Thailand and nobody actually taught us, all right? So therefore we decided to go down, okay? Just go fly over there and take a look at the uh, properties. And true enough that it's actually very, very good at that time, even though five years ago. And uh, during that trip, I actually, uh, we actually bought one. <laughs> oh. Yep. Because I remember, as I remember five years ago, well, uh, when I just started my real estate career, mm -hmm. a lot of people, they are still looking locally, mm. correct? So, Thailand, Bangkok, okay? Other than you and a group of friends going there, what do you see in the potential? Okay, that time, I think five years ago, we are still talking about currency is still uh, versus the Thai baht is still very strong. I would say it's about um, eight to nine, okay? One ring it to about eight to nine Thai baht. Um, and um, at that, that time, uh, we can see that massive uh, developments, uh, infrastructures, expansions, and the Thai, Thai governments actually put up a lot of effort to actually uh, bring up the whole country. And the other things that uh, we are looking at the potential is the tourism. As you know, that I, um, I would say that uh, Bangkok is actually number one of uh, uh, countries that uh, you have the most visitor. So therefore, it's like uh, in terms of the short-term render, um, it's actually very uh, great. Okay, and on top of that, in terms of the populations in Thailand, also it's a huge amount. And lots of uh, international company actually set up uh, offices there as well. So there's lots of potentials when it comes to the rental market. And if you were to compare to Malaysia at that time, uh, I would think that uh, Thailand have a more potentials when it comes to rental. You easily you probably would get at that time also about five percent already. Don't talk about short term rental. Yep. Ah, oh, that's very good. 
Mm-hmm. And also, uh, you know, being uh, an investor, of course, mm-hmm. we understand we do need to take risks from time to time. Yep. Like five years, six years ago, you went into Bangkok. It's also considered you are a risk taker, right? <laughs> but then again, uh, for us to profit, we have to consider that, you know, is inv- uh, your experience in investing in Bangkok, is it easy? And also the exit, do you mind share with us and the audience? Okay, uh, basically, the first time when I, was, uh, I invested in Thailand, my purpose is to learn the whole pro- process because I wanted ah. to know it's like, uh, because no one taught us, so I wanted to be sure. uh, experience that and see how easy it is. So I'll be my, uh, I invest into it, be the first investors, okay, to, to know about the whole process. So in fact, that time is actually uh, a struggle a bit, okay? But mm-hmm. ultimately, I would say that uh, it's actually very easy. And my plan that time is like, I don't intend to take up the, uh, uh, during when it's completion, I don't intend to actually take it up, okay? And my intention is to flip, okay? Uh... So true enough that Thailand side, uh, properties are actually allowed you to do flipping. Okay, that means mm-hmm. even before completions, you can act, you are allowed to sell, and you are allowed to sell to anybody. Okay, and I wanted to test that. All right, so um, true enough. Okay, uh, it's not just what I heard from the investor or I heard from my friends, and we can actually allow to flip. So we managed to sell that properties even before completions. Oh, that's very good. Mm. Which means I can compare a uh, Bangkok property to let's say local, mm-hmm. we actually have a much more option for us to exit yep. because we do not need to wait for completion and, and the we other, have Airbnb. Yes, and the other best part is like there's not much of the buying cost involved. There's no legal fees involved. You do not need to pay any legal fees. And uh, on top of that, you do not need to pay any um, stamp duties, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, no MOT or whatsoever, okay? It's just a very minimum sort of like transfer fees, okay? But then the transfer fee also, you do not need to pay it on the spot. You oh. only pay for the completions. So what we, we only need to pay is the, the down payment. And the down payment that time, we are talking about 30% of the purchase price. That's it. Mm. No other expenses. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's a very low entry. <laughs> yes. An easy entry. Yep. And to my surprise, it's like I, I didn't realize that buying property, especially mm-hmm. you're talking about overseas property, is so easy. Okay. And, and I experienced <laughs> it in Thailand. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you experienced that in a, in a different country where yep. you went in for the first time. Yep. Wow. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Like throughout your uh, journey mm-hmm. in Bangkok, have you heard of this developer? Called Sun Siri? Yep. Okay. In fact, yeah. uh, before even I started my investment in Thailand, uh, we heard a lot of uh, local agencies, especially in Malaysia, they are marketing uh, the Sun Siri projects. And mm. they are actually one of the uh, well known and one of the top uh, five developers in uh, Bangkok. And their mm. furnishing is actually very, very good. All right. And I have yeah. seen uh, quite a few of their projects uh, even before I invested. And uh, some of my, uh, in fact, my friends that actually invested in uh, Sun Series uh, developments before, and they become their regular super <laughs> VIP clients whereby they actually keep buying uh, mm-hmm. from them. And they told me that the uh, furnishing is superb. And on top of that, the capital appreciation is also very good. Oh. And so, oh. I have... Mm-hmm. One client told me that in fact that they went into um, during the handover, they can't even find any defects. Oh, okay. <laughs> I heard that from my uh, clients and investors as well. Yes. Now, because of your experience, okay, my personally, I have not bought anything in Bangkok yet. Mm-hmm. Went there and sell a lot of the projects there. Mm-hmm. Three words to describe Sun Siri. Uh, I would <laughs> say three words, okay. Yeah, um, words. Most of their projects is actually in prime location, good locations, mm-hmm. okay. Um, furnishing is good, okay. Mm-hmm. And their after sales uh, service is superb. Mm-hmm. So first one, always location yes. and beautiful. Yes. And then 
care. Yep. Oh, that's beautiful. That's fantastic. Because uh, as we went into different uh, location, mm -hmm. of course, we will get a lot of, uh, we will only work with top tier developers in yep. IQI. Okay. Now, Sansiri, they have different series of product. Am I right? Yep. Okay, like last Tuesday, me and Sue, we talked about the base. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is there are, for those who do not know that developers, they actually uh, put in their tier of uh, series of products, okay, on the name. So you have the line uh, 77 or the line 88. This is just example. Yeah. So their series will be the line and the base will be so on with the road's name. Now, do you mind share with us that uh, the line and the base? Because I realized these two projects is selling like hot cakes recently. Okay, um, like I said, because uh, just like what you mentioned, that uh, every developer in Thailand, they do have a different product range, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and they will name it the same, okay? Mm -hmm. under this product series but uh, after the location so they can have the line uh, WSW Wang Sawan or they have mm -hmm. the line uh, Sukumit 101 or the line uh, 77 or whatsoever okay mm -hmm. um, a lot of people was a bit confused they thought that it's yeah. the same projects but in fact the different locations the price range might be slightly different okay mm -hmm. when you talk about the line the line is actually more on the uh, the mid to high range Whereas the base is more affordable range, okay? Mm -hmm. And the line is actually a uh, core built, uh, core partner with the BTS. The land uh, is owned by the BTS. The BTS. Uh, constructions is actually built by Sansuri. So therefore, mm -hmm. it's like most of the time, when you talk about the line, means that it's along the BTS line. Therefore, mm -hmm. they call this series the line. And it's actually very, very uh, convenient located just either next to the train stations or just within a short walking distance to the train stations. Whereas the base, the base normally might not be in the uh, main road, main street, okay, normally in the, uh, the area, the alley, the soil, okay, but it's also not too far from the uh, ETS. Oh, so I will say that uh, the line you will have a very prime location where you just walk out, you can reach BTS. Of course, yes. because they work with BTS, yes. they have access to that. Yep. And whereas the base, we actually have a much more of a convenient location, but then they will have a much more privacy because they are in the inner soil. Am so I therefore, right? the price range will be probably slightly different because uh, mm -hmm. the line is more on the mid to uh, high, whereas uh, the base is more uh, affordable. Uh, and also, you mentioned about the line Wong Sa Wang. Mm -hmm. uh, we, do you realize one thing? During MCO, they totally sold out that project. Wow. Uh, for those who do not know that, actually, before we try to market the line, but actually during MCO time, they sold out. Yeah. Okay. Because the project, a, the local response is pretty it's great yes fantastic yeah because uh i think they have a strong confidence on the developer yep. and then location yep wow so today we will be talking about the line as well but it's in sukumit 101 okay this project okay before we start anything you have to pay attention to this okay pay attention to this we only got 10 units. <laughs> okay. Because what we experienced with the line Wong Sawang, okay, which is a different location, <laughs> a lot of uh, our IQI warriors and also a lot of our investors actually ask us, so, uh, so how many units left? How many units left? You know, because everyone expects no one buy anything during MCO. Yep. Right, Mandy? We, we do not... There's no Expect urgency, I would say. Yeah, it's, it's MCO. Everyone stays at home. I'm staying at home. Okay, but what happened? Uh, tell us what happened. Why they sold out? 
Okay, uh, I think uh, we, we got that project uh, during the MCO and that time it was like a, some special offers that is giving because it's actually mm. a completed project, all right? Mm. And the package is so attractive, all right? Uh, maybe oh. later on you will elaborate a, a little bit more on that. And the package yeah. is so attractive. Even local themselves, they are actually grabbing um, the foreign quota because um, as some of you might know that uh, buying into right. Thailand, you have two different quota. You have local quota mm. as well as foreign quota. So that time, uh, we actually received those uh, units are actually from foreign quota. But yes. because the local response is so well responded, okay, and there's almost so, uh, I would say about 10 to 20 units a week okay yeah. <laughs> so therefore they actually took all the foreign quota which not mm. which i think not many left as well at that time they took mm. they converted all the foreign quota into local quota mm. and it's all grabbed by locals local yes, yes. so everyone guys uh, now you understand yeah <laughs> not that i do not want to entertain you all like some of the investors that are joining us today I'm so sorry <laughs> mm -hmm. because we did not expect that. Now, from what uh, you mentioned, local grabs all the foreign quota, correct? Mm -hmm. So, which means a lot of Sun Series projects actually are loved by local. Yes. Am I right? Um, they, they are actually, uh, because of the quality, the furnishings mm. and the locations, uh, of course, uh, majority of the Sun Series projects, they have their own concept as well. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so local love it very much. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though foreigner, you talk about um, Singaporean, you talk about Hong, um, from Hong Kong, from China, they love Sanctuary as well because uh, the price is actually uh, not very expensive. Okay, yeah, and, sure. and I, I remember there's one project that which was like uh, 20 years ago. Okay, the project mm -hmm. is already 20 years already. And the capital appreciations that is massive. Remember that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. Uh, uh, well, for those who want to know, right? Okay, mm. you can invite us over for a chat or chit chat. Okay, we will tell you. I can tell you the percentage. Okay, it will make you very rich. Mm -mm. <laughs> right? Okay, yeah. so everyone pay attention. Today we will share about Sun Siri. The line Sukumi 101. How many units? Only 10. Ten. Okay, anything more? No. And then, uh, like what uh, me and Mandy discussed today, okay, I don't think we, we don't think it will last more than one week, the 10 quotas. Right? I think it should be gone probably by um, today mm. is. Friday, today, right? Should be gone yeah. by either uh, weekend or over the weekend or Monday will be gone already. Yes, okay. Uh, we are not making this up, but that's the power of Sun Series product. And that's the confidence that investors and the local have on the location. Okay, so Mandy, do you mind share with us the project? Okay, um, this project is actually, lo like I said, mm -hmm. the line is located uh, along the BDS, all right? Mm -hmm. So, um, it's only about a uh, double story, uh, not double story, mm -hmm. it's like two blocks, okay? It's like, uh, the way they design is like uh, married couples, all right? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, they have a concept for it, okay? It's only um, 37 stories and total is about 778 units. Local mm -hmm. quota fully sold, okay? Right now, left... Uh, this 10 units, okay? This 10 units, this not ten. only for foreigners, but also Yeah, not, for not only for that. us. Yeah, and in fact, uh, I just have a chat with the, uh, our MD in IQI Thailand. Um, mm -hmm. He said he visited um, that uh, a project uh, twice, okay? Mm -hmm. And during these two times of visit, lots of customers actually at the gallery. Uh. Right? <laughs> All right. So, okay. <laughs> uh, so right now the ten units are uh, we we actually uh available for sale. So that's why everybody is grabbing. And mm -hmm. the location is actually very convenient. Um, they are talking about only two hundred and fifty meters uh, away from the uh BTS stations. So if you were to walk, probably less than five minutes, you can reach. Okay. If not, they will provide a shuttle bus for you. Oh, to go okay. To the for BTS the, for the elder and also yes. 
Yeah. Okay, and on top of that, if you talk about how far from uh, Tong Law, a lot of people would know mm -hmm. about Tong Law. It's actually the same line with Tong Law, the uh, BTS line, uh, green, mm -hmm. green line, uh, which is only five stops away from uh, Tong Law. All right? Mm -hmm. okay. And you talk about Terminal 21, Asok. Yes. City. So it's only about seven stops, BTS. Yeah, those are very prime location, And I do heard a lot of uh, Japanese, they actually... Op, uh, operate their business over there. Yep. And uh, on top of that, we are talking about if you want to go to uh, the future CBD, okay, Bangkok CBD, which is Bangna, it's only two stops away. So um, if you want to go for shopping, they're going to have a, one of the largest uh, Southeast Asia's uh, shopping mall, which is going to be complete in probably another three years' time, called Bangkok Mall. Okay, ah, and okay. if you want to go to the nearest uh, digital park, of which is again, it's only 800 meter, you can walk. If not, you can actually go by shuttle as well. So the, oh. this location is actually very prime location and it's actually very, very convenient. And then they do have uh, shuttle services for those. Oh. Okay. So, okay, before we proceed, okay, everyone, uh, thank you for watching and joining us for International Prop Chat, mm. okay? Our team will have uh, different projects, okay? We will talk about different projects every Tuesday and Friday night, okay? 9.30 p.m. Malaysia time, okay? Do follow our Facebook page, IQI International Sales, for more information. And uh, click the like button to show your support for us, okay? So... Before we mention anything else, right, Mandy, let me ask you one question. Do you want to buy one? If you can, you want to fly to Bangkok and see the project and buy one or not? I, I probably don't have to fly to the Bangkok or wait for the MCA oh. to open. Okay, if, uh, if, if, uh, if, if I want to decide, I can decide now. I will definitely grab mm. one today. Okay. okay. From... Yes. Yeah. Okay. So... so for those that who just join in, remember to share. If you think that if your yes. friends that would love uh, uh, to know about uh, Bangkok properties or yeah. want to explore in Bangkok property, you can always share this uh, our program uh, with them or invite them to join in. So because later on, I think Danny will actually promote uh, how attractive the package is. So don't miss the <laughs> yep. <laughs> don't miss these promotions. Uh, invite your friends to join us now. Yeah. All right. And as Mandy mentioned, mm. you do not need to fly there to buy one. Yeah, okay? you do not need yeah. one. Later on, we will show you some uh, <laughs> 360, then you'll be amazed yes. with that. Yep. Okay, so Mandy, you talk about a lot of the uh, important part as an investor, the location whatsoever. So everyone, I will share with you their beautiful facilities. Yep. Yeah. Of course, uh, you know, shuttle bus, everything is, is fantastic. We don't really have a lot of uh, projects with that. But before we start with the facilities, the per square, uh, square meter price is fantastic. Right? Because uh, many as investors, uh, back then when you visit the projects, mm -hmm. so do you actually compare with uh, the surrounding? Yes. Um that is one of the, uh, normally I would do it because normally I will compare, because being an investor, mm -hmm. I will always want to buy the, the cheaper one. I would not want oh, to end up the buying the most one. expensive one. All right. So okay. we actually um, uh, do some survey. Okay. Uh, surrounding, uh, there are quite a few projects that is going on. Uh, some mm -hmm. is already completed. And I would say in terms of the price range, they are actually starting from 135,000 Thai baht per square meter up to about 190,000 Thai baht per square meters. Oh, okay, that's, surrounding. that's still very competitive pricing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, if you were to talk about if you go some further, uh, some, somewhere nearer like Tong Lo, Ika Mai, so perhaps uh, the price range is probably above 190,000 Thai baht per square meter. Mm -hmm. okay. Do, do you see that uh, there will be a lot of uh, future growth in capital before uh, we go to the package? Yes, because most of the time, if you talk about uh, those projects that um, along the BDS line, chances that the price, the capital appreciations uh, will increase 
tremendously. And that is actually track record proven uh, from uh, the previous historical data. And mm. why? Because as you know that Thailand traffic is pretty bad, okay? Everybody was mm. trying to <laughs> stay nearer to the BDS so that they do not need to drive, but it depends on the public transportation. Mm. And as you know that along the BTS line, they do not have many new developments going on already because the land is scarce, especially closer to the cities. So therefore, it's like it's hard to get those apartments that along the BTS line. Unless you are talking about those newer apartments uh, with the, the expansion line whereby uh, they are still under construction, so that's a different story. But you are talking about existing line, chances that you might not be able to get any good locations with good price as well because most of the time the price already went up that high. Ah, I mm. see. That's uh well everyone heard that you're buying something under value. Yes. Yeah, with a tremendous growth for the future. Okay? Do not miss it. So, so remember I was talking about remember, the price is like yeah. hundred and um 35,000 Thai baht per square meter up to about 190. So perhaps you guys are on the line one, make a guess how much is the price uh, in this, the line Sukhumit 101. Okay, yeah, price per make square a guess. meter. Yeah, make a guess. Maybe make Daniel guess. will have a special gift for you. Yeah, we do have, <laughs> we do have, we do have, okay. <laughs> okay, so I, uh, why Great don't price. you tell you tell the um, uh, audience what is the uh, facilities that is actually available in the line? There's too many. <laughs> I don't really know where to start. I, I'm, okay, I went to a lot of different places before, but this is something very different, really. Okay, as uh, last week we uh, sorry Tuesday we we went through the base by San Siri. Mm -hmm. Okay, we bring out a co-working space, correct? Okay, this is more than that, okay, because the line actually have a lot of facilities. Basically, they, you can actually stay at home, visit the facilities, use the facilities for the whole day without going out. Okay, of course, we start off with the typical laundry room. Then they have this beautiful LED multi sports center, multi sports wow. court. Okay. Futsal is available for wow. basketball. I love basketball. <laughs> Tennis court. Okay. All the courts is on the high side. So you will have view as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you can look at my background, that's actually the line. And Mandy's background is also the view from the line. Okay. Not only that, garden, pavilion, outdoor recreational area, there are three floors for that. Three floors, ground floor, fifth floor, and rooftop. You want more? We got more. Okay. We mentioned about co-working space being a, a trend in Sun Series project. Okay. Because uh, the entrepreneurship and also the startup scene in Bangkok is going very strong. A lot of people actually work from home. So we have meeting room with treadmill. <laughs> yeah, that's you know, something different. You, you probably forgot the most important one, the co-working uh, space with Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi. Yeah, free Wi-Fi, LED TV, whiteboards are available. Okay. And then we still have another co thing, which is cold kitchen space. Okay. This kind of concept is because that, you know, a lot of us, we try to host our friends, okay? But maybe I'm staying in a one bedroom, okay? Because bachelor, okay? So I want to cook for my friends. I'm not gonna dirty <laughs> my kitchen, <laughs> right? Correct? And then it's not spacious enough because, you know, uh, one Christmas gathering, one Raya, we got 20 packs now, okay? So half is still 10. So they prepare co kitchen space for uh, those residents, okay, to use and you know a lot of people enjoy the environment of gathering. So you can do it in a very spacious place, okay. Not finished, of course. We have the game room. Mm -hmm. Now swimming pool and jacuzzi. Okay, 
a lot of developments have that. But what are the size of the swimming pool? Can anyone guess? Olympic size, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, when I went through the project, I was thinking, wow, okay, uh, I know swimming pool like this, you know, you can just cater, but you build Olympic size pool. That's wow, okay, that's wow. And also that uh, jogging track, game room, and of course the gym. Then library for those who like to read. So they, they put a lot of effort in the facilities, okay? And also for those who actually, uh, those with us for some time, okay? Uh, we do share a lot of the images and also the videos of our, our Bangkok project. They put a lot of effort in the designing team, mm -hmm. correct, Mandy? It's yeah, one of the most beautiful. Yeah, especially sensory, yes. Yes. So what else? Shuttle bus and they have this smart move, okay, which is by, uh, with BMW i3, okay, mm -hmm. which is a car that we can actually, uh, is it book and use? Rent, yes. Yeah, rent and use. Because in Bangkok, uh, to be honest, I do not want to own a car, mm -hmm. okay, unless <laughs> the traffic is very busy, okay. But in case you just, you are a person who likes to drive around, you can actually have that. Okay, so all these things Sansiri actually thought for you. You do not need to worry about that. Okay, now before we move on, let's play a little game. Okay, so uh, for the audience, okay, guess how much is the price? <laughs> you know, everyone expecting us to tell you the price directly, right? Mm -hmm. Guess how much is the price? Type it on uh, Facebook. Okay, we will actually see. Okay, let's give everyone some time to type first, yeah? Yep, of course. The other thing I want to add on is like, um, at this, the line, uh, Sukumit 101, there's uh, basically unblocked view because they do not have a tall building uh, on both the... Uh, the front and the back as well. So you can see that uh, the background of my uh, pictures is actually the sunsets, okay? Uh, in fact, if you will go to the rooftop, you can both see the sunrise and the sunset as well. So it's actually very, very beautiful, all right? And um, the other thing is like, a lot of places, especially you're talking about uh, in uh, Bangkok, because uh, if you were to buy closer to the city, you probably have all the block view, okay? You can't even see the city, okay? You can't even have the river view. You see at the back, that is actually a river view. All right, so it's actually very, very nice. And I would, uh, let me share some of the beautiful pictures, if, if I can. Okay. So everyone, uh, please put in the price that you guessed. And this is the sunset. Wow. All right. So if you want to see the night view. This is the night view. <laughs> So I actually fall in love with this project. The moment that developer uh, 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 told me that there's this uh, project uh, having a, some um, special offer, when I look at it, I really fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of us will have that feeling when we went to uh, Bangkok's project viewing mm -hmm. because of the, uh, the concept and the team they actually they put in really a lot of effort in designing things. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe okay. Danny, you want to show them uh, some of, you want to bring them for the virtual tour? Yes, okay, because right now we are in MCO, we cannot travel. Okay, so let's join me for the VR tour. Mm. Okay, let me load the place first. So right now at the back is actually the rooftop gardens, the pictures that I'm showing, all right, nice. Okay, so, all right, I will share my screen. All right, everyone can watch. Okay, 
So this is a 33 square meter one bedroom. Okay, we only have two sizes because only 10 units, nothing more. One is 27 square meter mm -hmm. and 33 square meter. Okay, so now uh, because of the MCO, of course, Sun Siri will always have their promotion. Okay, they want to make their purchases feel secure with the product and not so pressured, you know, because sometimes there's a lot of things you need to fork out cash, right? So this is fully furnished, this project. Wow. Yes, fully furnished. Okay. And then uh, as we can see here, yes, you have balcony. So if you're on the high floor, you have unblocked view. That's amazing. You can just go out from your, but of course, uh, we have very limited units, okay? Uh, we can't really have all the floors for you to choose because only 10 units, okay? So, okay. Let me yeah. Sorry. The other thing, go back to the previous one. Okay. Okay, one of the special, okay, stop here. One of the special <laughs> features of this, uh, um, uh, this project, look at this uh, balcony door, okay, and look at the ceiling height. Can you see the difference? Oh, wow, that's a very high ceiling. Yes, because normally in Thailand, you are talking about a uh, size like this, right? Um, the ceiling height is normally about two meters only, okay, but this one, the meter, uh, the ceiling height is actually 3.4 meters. So in fact, oh, developer actually mentions that uh, in the contract will say that if you would buy this unit, you make sure you must have a ladder. Ladder. <laughs> yes, otherwise it's too high for you to change the box or whatsoever. You get it. <laughs> That's true. And why one of the no. dis uh, this display units come with a ladder that you know that is actually very high, the ceiling. Yep, this is a ladder over here. Yes. It's movable, okay. Oh, and also I realized that uh, in a lot of uh, Sun Series one bedroom, they actually ha they have a lot of uh, storage space. Am I right? Yep. Which is uh, sorry, this is Thai. I do not know how to read. Okay, so we have a lot of storage place here on the kitchen. Okay. Okay, even though uh, some of the, uh, the dining, uh, the living uh, table, you can actually, uh, they have a, a hidden table below. So you can yep. actually pull out and become a dining table. And a lot of cabinets also inside, they have additional cabinets for you to uh, store up your, your stuff. So it's actually maximize the space. So this is one of the concepts that is actually amazing. And you look at the, uh, the, the table, okay, the working Over table. Here. Yeah, you. It's not just a table. At the side, they are actually giving you some um, drawer as well. Mm, okay, sorry that uh, the the VR tour is a bit laggy. Later, we will actually share with you the uh, address so you can actually view yeah, because I'm on live at, stream now. Yeah, yeah, you can look at it. It's like it's the, the table after table. Uh, this is very convenient. And of course, all the uh, kitchen appliances, they are coming together. So really, just pack your bag, you can actually stay there. Mm -mm. The unit comes with fully furnished. Okay. So for those who, uh, as I remember, for those who want to do Airbnb, this will be a very big cost saving package for you, right? Mm -mm. Yep. Okay, so this will be the bed, okay, and then uh, the bathroom. So even you see the uh, underneath okay. the bed, there's a drawer as well. Wow, that's a lot of storage place here. Mm -mm. Yep. So don't wait, only 10 units, okay? Yep. Only 10 units. Only 10 units, okay. With this, you can have your second home if you would like to, okay? or 
you can kickstart your property business. Now, Mandy, uh, a lot of the our investors actually look into uh, investment. Mm -hmm. All right. So, it, as you mentioned just now, uh, when you went in, you see a lot of potential in short term rental, right? Right. But what about the longer term rental? Okay, uh, over there they are talking about uh, if they were to sign the tenancy, is uh, normally it's actually one year. Oh, all right. If it's short term year. rental, will probably about three to six months. All right, so that is probably under contract. Or mm -hmm. if you were to do A, B, and B, uh, of course it's up to you because this one is actually very close to uh, uh, BTS and it's also very close to uh, Tong Law, Tong Law and Ikamai. These are those Japanese and Korean uh, areas. So a lot of people instead of staying in Tong Law and Ikamai, whereby the uh, rental is actually uh, much higher. So they don't mind to stay probably uh, two stop away so that they can mm -hmm. actually uh, pay uh, lower rental. So if you talk about the rental in Tong Lo area, one bedroom easily you need to pay at least about 20 over uh, thousands Thai baht per month. But over here, mm -hmm. you can actually pay below 20 thousands uh, Thai baht. So mm. if you work out the difference, you will still get the, uh, if based on the long term one, you will still get a, the, about the ROI for 5%. So which is oh. very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good. And of course, our IQI Thailand will be there to assist you in that. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's look at the price. Okay. We have a few uh, reply. Okay. Not only from Facebook, from other our chat other channels as well. Mm -hmm. The uh, from Facebook we have uh, one hundred fifty k per Type square up. meter. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's very accurate. Okay, and of course we have uh Yo, four million, and then we have others like uh f five million Thai baht. Okay, for the five point four million Thai baht, and then I think uh, there's a few mentioned six million is a bit too <laughs> too high, really, but I think I think uh okay no, I won't the mention origin, name. The original yeah, I won't mention price. Name. The original price is six million for the uh yes. the bigger units, which is the uh mm. this thirty three square meters one is actually six million. Mm. But right. right now, yeah. But right now, not, right now, okay. So the closest one will be four point five million. Thai baht. Okay. For this thirty three uh square meters. Yes. Okay. So we have uh a few, correct. But of course, those who guess uh, 6 million, okay, thank you so much. You are actually right, okay, without a special package. Because for 33 square meter, the asking price lowest is 5.7 million Thai baht. Still is lower than your expectation. Uh, we have a few sir over there, okay. And then for 27 square meter, the asking price before before special discount, okay, mm -hmm. is 4.5 million Thai baht. Wow. Okay. A lot of people, uh, we, we do get a lot of feedback, sir. Huh? Okay. Now, let me tell you something. Why? Why, from, why something that's from 6 million can become 4.5 million, right? Because Mandy have a lot of magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mandy... Mandy can bring in things that help you generate uh, 1.5 million before you buy. Okay. Help you save 1.5 million. But honestly right speaking, not, yeah, honestly speaking, right? Because based mm. on my uh my experience in Thailand properties for the past five years, all right, I haven't seen this kind of uh a, a package or or price uh promotion price before. I remember during the good time, okay, we would try to ask a uh, developer to give us like some discounts or uh, we are just talking about maybe just hundred thousands or, mm -hmm. or about a few thousands ringgits discounts. The developer would probably care less about it, all right? So especially <laughs> talking about the top yes. uh, five developers, okay? It's only during this MCO period. Really to my uh, shockings that I see that such an attractive price that is 
offered by the developer, all right? And besides that, they are actually giving lots of freebies, you know? You yes, do not have to pay the transfer fees. That means the, the, the only 1% yeah. transfer fee will be waived as well. And you do not need to pay sinking fund. The sinking fund will be waived. And yep. they free one-year property maintenance. maintenance fee as well. So, mm. and literally you just pay for whatever contract price, okay, which is already discounted. And the mm. discounted price is actually not just hundred thousand, not just two hundred thousand, not just five hundred thousand. It's more than one million Thai baht. Yes. Okay. All right. So if you are yeah. ready and or you are still hesitant whether should you invest in Thailand. This is the best time for you to get the best deal. Yeah, correct. Right. Okay, let me break down what you save. Okay, first one, MCO package. Okay, oh, this one I think will only last for around one week. Okay, for 27 square meter, you save 1.1 million Thai baht. It's straight off discount. Mm. Okay, no, nothing. It's just straight off discount. Okay, just give you one. 1.1 million. For 33 square meter, they give you 1.2 million. Straight off cut discount. Okay? So, not only that, Wendy mentions the sinking fund. Sinking fund, you save 13,000 Thai baht. Okay? Transfer fee, 1%. That's around 30,000 30, to 40,000 Thai baht. Okay. No... We still got furniture package, okay? Mm -hmm. Because as we know that uh, when you move to a new house, when you want to decorate it, of course, you need to buy furniture before you start your Airbnb or your rental. Furniture package, you save around 150000 to 200000 okay? And then, of course, free electric meter and installation. Now, for those who join us uh, recently, okay, in Bangkok, you actually have to pay quite a sum for free uh, to get electric meter to get installed. And also you need to secure a deposit over there, right? That will cost you around 20,000, 22,000 Thai baht. Okay, everything is money. And we left on one thing, one year property care, 18,000 Thai baht. Okay, now all this we add up, Total is 1.5 million Thai baht. Okay, if you convert to Malaysian ringgit, 203,000 ringgit. Wow. Hey, before you buy a house, you save 200,000. Now, think about that. What helped you save 200,000 before you own something which later on you're gonna, it's still your house, you know? Okay? Now, for those who one okay we actually prepare a small gift which is the breakdown of how much is your total savings okay as an investor don't listen to me <laughs> don't listen to me read okay we actually write down and prepare a pdf to send it out okay for those who are interested read that Okay, and then you can compare your price to Google or other projects because over here we actually show you the facts. Okay, we don't just talk. So, for those who actually want a, a copy of uh, this total savings breakdown, okay, now this is something very interesting. After I send you this, next time when you read about Sun Series project, you understand what's the breakdown, correct or not? Uh, but you have to type total saving, okay? Type total saving right now, and then uh, our team member will actually send you the PDF, okay? It's a one-page PDF where you can clearly see every single number, how much you save, correct? But, but remember, the saving is only for during MCO, okay? Yeah, Please. so the lat <laughs> latest we will send you by tomorrow. <laughs> So please don't use yeah. this against us uh, after MCO. Yes, correct. Offer might be gone by then, <laughs> all right? <laughs> okay, because uh, weekends, yeah, Sun Siri have a lot of customer visit the sales gallery as our, uh, our 
managing director from IQI Thailand. You know, so don't wait. Okay, if you want this breakdown, type total saving. Okay, yeah, I see a lot of people actually uh typing in another one. Okay, so <laughs> not available for those who are on YouTube. <laughs> Only strictly right now. Okay, yeah, people start typing total saving. <laughs> Okay, yeah. remember, I think uh, this kind of deal is hard to come by. Like I said, a uh, developer is actually having office in uh, Hong Kong, in Singapore, and in uh, China as well. So they are selling the same package to all over the world. Okay, so yes. if you were to add fast, you probably can grab one today. If Correct. you probably still a bit hesitate, by next week, if you were to come mm -hmm. to us and say that I want to get one unit, it's really sorry. sorry. Yeah. Okay. And of course, another thing, uh, people is messaging me, okay, booking fee is just 100,000 Thai baht. Mm -mm. Okay. 100,000 Thai baht. And then you get to save 1.5 million Thai baht. That's 15 times leverage. <laughs> Think about it. 10 units only. Okay. Of course, if we have more, we will not rush you or anything. It's because that uh, what happened in the line Wong Sawa, really we got, uh, we have to say sorry. I think we all have around eight inquiries that actually want to come up with a check, but we can't take that, okay? And not I want, yeah. But it's very attractive. I think for those that who's considered the base, all right, so yep. the base is also similar pricing because base do not have that all special right. offer. So uh, if I would you, I would suggest that you take the line because both yes. is uh, completed projects, but in terms of the locations, in terms of the concept, in terms of the furnishings, the line is still a better choice. All right. All right, so grab the line, okay, while it still have units, otherwise it will be gone. Like, like Danny said, it's only 10 units. But 10, 10 units is based on now. I'm not too sure any updates from developer tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Because always remember this. People like to buy houses on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> okay? Because they have time to go to the sales gallery and do their booking, this and that. But of course, right now, we have a VR tour for you to watch the uh, look around for the for the sales gallery and then of course you can do online booking with us all right mandy yep. yeah. we can show so, you the some surrounding as well and uh mm -hmm. those completed uh projects uh photos for those that yes. are interested uh you can actually pm us uh separately and we will actually send you the uh the actual photo okay the other thing one thing that i need to highlight is like uh in thailand when the brochure was saying that they are furnishing with this uh, concept in this quality and all these things, they must deliver according to what the brochure said or what the pictures was, the artist impressions was uh, uh, given to you, okay? If they do not deliver like exactly like this, right? Uh, chances that uh, the governments will not approve this project mm. and you will get all your money refunded. So which means what you see will be what you get yes. or else money back. Yes. Yeah. So I think this is a very good practice because we, you know, throughout our uh, career in real estate, we actually see a lot of not so well-known developer actually fail to deliver. Yeah. But uh, Sansiri is here for a long time. They always yep. deliver their projects. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of people typing total saving. All right. Okay. So, so as you can see, there's some yeah. of you, uh, if you are interested, you can actually uh, get the brochure from uh, our team. All right. Yep. So, and then you can compare the picture at the back with the brochure because the picture at the back is the actual photos. Yes. Okay. Now, think of it. We only have 10 units. Okay. Rule number one, very prime location, mm -hmm. BTS. Number two, Sun Siri, solid developer. Okay. Number three, 1.5 million Thai baht saving. Okay. 200,000 ringgit. How much you need to pay for the booking fee? Only 100,000 Thai baht. Okay. If you want now, you book now. Okay. 
because all this opportunity will not come. Okay, then you have hassle-free uh, rental, okay, because furniture, everything done. Of course, uh, IQI will be here from A to Z, okay, you want to do long-term rental, we will help you as well, okay, don't worry about that. Okay, and of course, last one, remember this, Mandy always says, uh, buy the place where the local like, <laughs> correct? <laughs> yes. Buy the product that the local like. If the Lai Wong Sa one managed to sell out and you know, you have to get the foreigner quotas to put it, to sell it to the locals, which means they have a lot of confidence in the developer. They have a lot of confidence in the development and the future appreciation, okay? It is a great investment. Okay, do not, do not miss it. Okay, only so in 10 terms, units. Yeah, in terms of rental yield, in terms of the capital appreciations, and also yeah. in terms of developer profile as well. Okay, these yeah. three um, uh, points is enough for you to uh, uh, consider buying one. Okay, right. don't talk about the price reductions. Don't talk about all the uh, promotions that currently a uh, developer is offering right now. Right. right. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. Anyone yeah. have any, any questions? Anyone about have any project? questions? Yeah. Okay. I think give them some time. Mm -hmm. And also, let's recap: buying and investing in backcourt is not as hard as you think. You know, back then, Mandy have to go there herself, and then you know, find this, find that. Okay, walk here, walk there, ask this, ask that, and you know, when I'm pretty sure when you sign your SPA. What what's the feeling? You know, maybe it's is it all Thai? Yes, at that time five years ago when I was signing the contract, it's all in Thai language. Okay, and I need to fly okay. over there and sign. All right, but then now, <laughs> do not have to worry. You sign in English, so you know what, what kind of terms and conditions that you sign. Because yeah. uh, in Thailand, when you sign the uh contract, is based on the government contract. So therefore, mm. you do not need a lawyers to actually uh, looking through the uh, terms and conditions so it's actually very safe every developer is using the same contract same terms all right so um and right now even during mco if you want to buy one we can have uh, 360 uh, vr tour for you to see and the yes. surrounding as well and on top of that you do not need to fly over to bangkok the contract you can actually sign it in malaysia so you yes. do not need to travel we will help you with that, mm. okay? And for those who actually love to have a second home instead of investment over there, trust me, you will like the facilities that they offer, right? So, so during MCO, you, do, you probably do not need to go out. <laughs> you don't need to go out, you just stay there, okay? And then of course, when it's near BTS, which means you do not need to own a car stuck in traffic. Okay, you can just take the BTS and go around. Okay, yeah. So, okay, uh, we don't really have a lot of questions. I think everyone is just waiting for the total breakdown of the <laughs> saving, total savings breakdown. Okay, we will send it to you for those who actually type total saving in our uh, Facebook Live, YouTube, and also those who are messaging me in different pages. Okay. Okay, the other thing that I would say that uh, for those that who have interest to buy uh, in this project and they are still have a second thought, they, they might not want to take uh, so much risk on it. So what they can do or what I can suggest that you can share with your friends. Yeah, share it with your friends, okay? All right, so if you do not intend to get any loan, but you are buying cash, okay, for a, for a property about 450,000, all right? So you can actually share with a few friends yep. and you can grab one unit today. Okay, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone will share their share of uh, return of investment. And you can share the risk because this, yeah. since this is the first properties and you are worried, yep. okay? Just like what I did, uh, the first property also, I share it with my friends. Mm. Right? Okay, Mandy, we have a question from William. Mm. Mm. What was the price that you bought five years ago and the price today? Wow, very good questions. Okay. Yeah. Um, I also I want bought, to know. I bought uh, in yeah. Tonglo. Okay. Tonglo is oh, in the area wow. which is only <laughs> uh, uh, five stops away from this uh, the line, mm -hmm. uh, Sukumit 101. All right. 
And I bought that time is uh, one bedroom. Is, uh, the, it's about less than 30 square meters. I think it's about 23 square meters. All right. At that time, I bought 5 million Thai baht. Now? Guess what? Right now, uh, in Tongla, easily about 9 to 10 million. Oh, you, okay. That is within 5 years time. All right. That's within 5 years time. So mm-hmm. I would say for the 5 years, like, you know, did you regret that you did not buy one more? Uh, actually, I bought. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So in, in different locations, I I bought another one. Uh, in different yeah. locations, which is uh the one that which is two stop away. That's called Bangna. Okay, ah, even okay. two stop further, I buy it at a similar price, like the line Wang Sa Wan. Sorry, the line uh Sukumi One Hundred One. Sukumi One. Yes, <laughs> and and and. In terms of the range, this is the better range. Mm. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hope you guys get your answer. And that time, <laughs> my project is actually along the BTS as well. So, I can conclude this that, you know, as an investor, okay, the way you look at the location, okay, and also the plans for future development, this is a very secure location. Am I right? So, could meet 101. Yeah, because a lot of people would like Sukumit because mm-hmm. this is just along the Sukumit road. And the other thing I want to highlight that for those that who really uh, wanted to invest in Thailand, invest now where yes. the, uh, the uh, rules and regulations and still very flexible and very loose, all right? Basically, they, you do not have much of the uh, cost involved. Yeah. You buy it now. So when a lot of people start to come to uh, Thailand and invest or whereby Thailand's all the infrastructures, all the mega projects, developments are ready, then only it started to come in and buy. By then, uh, probably you are paying the price at that high. So we always say, buy low, hit high. Yep. Okay, we got two more questions from uh, huh. another, yeah. okay, yeah. from other place. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, uh, when they, okay, this one, okay. When they actually uh, sell out the units, okay, one of the, okay, I think it's David. Okay, David says, so when they sell out the unit, are they uh, going to pay any taxes? Okay, uh, depends on how long you hold, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you were to hold less than five years, so basically the transfer fees that you still have to pay, which is 1%, okay. Mm-hmm. In fact, the transfer fee by right is 2%, but it's actually 50% by seller and 50% by the uh, buyer. So that means as a seller, you have to pay 1%. As a buyer, you have to pay another 1%. All right. So this one, you, you can't save. You still have to pay because it's a transfer fee to the government. And on top of that, if you were to hold the property less than uh, five years, then you have to pay the uh, tax cost specific uh, business tax, which is 3.3%. All right. If you hold your property more than five years, then you do not have to pay this specific business business tax, but you pay the uh, stamp duty, which is only 0.5%. Okay. Wow. And on top of that, <laughs> you need to pay a withholding tax. Okay. okay. Uh, it's about 2% like that. So, which means everything is less than 4% or 3%. Depends how long you hold. So it's I would yeah. say it's within uh, from five to seven percent. Ah, okay. And you can sell to anybody. Okay, you do not need mm-hmm. to sell back to the locals. You can sell to your foreigners. You can sell to your friends. Anybody. Yeah, actually, that's the question that I get from uh James. Okay, hmm. so you can sell it to anybody, James. Okay, now uh, I think another question. Okay, this will be our last. Now, uh, he actually this is from. Philip, Philip actually asked uh, that, you know, uh, for the rental, okay, are they taxable? Okay, um, mm. in Thailand, rental income is taxable, all right, mm-hmm. but again, everything can be done uh, through a creative <laughs> way, okay? Uh, okay. Text me, I will tell you how. <laughs> okay, so uh, Philip, uh, for your information, we actually help you to take care of your whole investment journey. Okay, yes. Mandy will help you to 
get connection. Am I right? Okay. Um, we are not the tech connection, expert. It's, uh. just, it, it's just that the, the way how they do it. So normally okay. they will sign, uh, like I said, normally they will sign uh, two contracts. All right. Mm -hmm. One is rental agreement. Mm -hmm. The other one is service agreements. Okay. So you can actually split your rental income into two parts. Okay. Rental income is taxable. Service uh, agreement is not taxable. Mm. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's for you, Philip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but of course, if you are interested, do not wait. Okay, you can text us or contact us right now. Mm -mm. Okay, our team will help you with it. Okay, so uh, I think, thank you everyone. Okay, for joining us, joining us tonight. Now, remember, fantastic deal. Great furnishing, great facilities, great location. But too bad we only have 10 units. Okay, the pros and cons is that. Okay, and if you're not ready for this, okay, please wait for the next one. Yep. Because we, 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 we cannot hold anything. Okay. Oh, 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 sorry. Okay, William asking, uh, do you do long-term or short-term rental? Okay, um, up to you to decide whether you want to do long terms yeah. and short terms. Again, it depends mm. on the demand and the supplies as well. So, of course, if I were to do a uh, long term, then I would uh, sign for long term because then I uh, minimize my uh, expenses when it comes to Airbnb. Uh, they will charge you slightly higher on the property management fees. All right. So, uh, but then if you think that, uh, it's worth doing short-term rental, you can go ahead because, okay, um, in Thailand, Airbnb is not considered legalized like Japan, okay? Mm. But you can still do Airbnb because a lot of people are still doing it, all right? So that one is uh, up to your own uh, consideration, okay, yeah. William? Okay. So I think that's it. Remember, don't wait, okay? If you're not ready, please wait for the next one. Yes. Okay, we will try our best to bring you something similar, but no promise because this is one of the most amazing package that I've ever seen. Okay. Yeah. And it's from Sun Siri. Normally, if without MCO, they will sell at 6 million. Okay? Yes. And also it's because they have the last 10 units only. Mm -mm. Okay. So, uh, thank you everyone for joining. And if you are not considering this, but you know someone that is looking for a property or a chance to invest in Thailand, please, before you tell them anything, tell them, it's not that hard, okay? Yes, it's, it's not, not that, that complicated, okay? We will be here for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Just share this video or this link to, uh, to them, okay? So that, you know, they can go through whatever we go through tonight, okay? Because this live will be here for some time. And also, we will upload it to our YouTube channel called IQI International Sales. You can search that. Okay, because the whole series of uh, the key to diversification is there. All 14 episodes. Okay? All right. So, so remember to stay tuned with us uh, this uh, next week. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday uh, yeah. we will have another uh, my team to come and share with you guys on another uh, excited projects in uh, Cambodia. So for those mm. that who's looking for Cambodia, so you can remember to log in, uh, join yeah. us uh, at nine thirty, okay, Malaysia time uh, at uh, our IQI International Sales page. Yes, All please right? follow our Facebook page for more updates. At time to time, not only uh, live stream, we do have we will share articles and also related news because we believe in IQI international sales. We believe that everyone can actually diversify their portfolio with the lowest risk, and also we are here to support and help you during your journey of investing overseas. Right, so do follow us, share our page to your friends. Okay. Okay, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you. Good Remember, night. Take care and also stay safe. Okay, Remember, we will see you. 10 units. <laughs> 10 units, okay. <laughs> 10 units. 1.5 million safe. Okay. Thank you everyone. Good night. Okay. Stay Good safe. Night. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.